I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. Today, I'm going to give you some tips to decorate your planner in a functional manner. So the first thing I'm doing is taking out some of the things that I'll be using to actually decorate and get ready for the week. Now, before I get started, I always like to ask that you give this video a thumbs up now, during or after you get done with this, of course, if you enjoy it. And also, if you subscribed already, then I'd like to say thank you. And if you haven't already, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. So the first thing I did was take out some stamps and I'm actually stamping the day of the week and the date, which is something that I've never done before, but it saves a ton of time looking through stickers or having to write it out with my sloppy handwriting. So now I'm using some stickers from the Me and My Big Ideas sticker book. And I love using the sticker book because you can do full spreads using just one sticker sheet or maybe two. So I'm putting down some full boxes and they fit in these boxes just perfectly. So I'm pretty happy about that. I did have to cut down Sunday a little bit and that's because I stamped the Sunday label down just a little bit wonky. So next I'm going to go ahead and I am going to just kind of rifle through my book again. I'm still looking for some other stickers. I try to look for things ahead of time, but sometimes, you know, it just doesn't work out. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put down some more stamps. And the first stamp that I'm going to be using is going to be a bill stamp or I think it's for bills, but I'm going to use it for bills. I'm using a, a sticker or I should say a stamp pack from Recollections. And now I'm just putting down kind of, well, I was going to put down this event box, but I tried to cut it down myself. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I'm no good with scissors. So that didn't work out. So I had to find another event box. And because it's one book July, I wanted to kind of limit how much I had to rifle through and look for things because I wanted this to be easy. So instead of making stickers for this layout, I actually kind of Frankenstein things. That's what I call it, Frankenstein, when I have to just kind of find stickers nilly willy. And so I just kind of used what I had already instead of making some new ones or purchasing some, if that makes sense. So for Tuesday, I just put down a plain box and then I wrote in, Independence Day. Now for all you teachers out there, Lizzie knows she spelled independence wrong, but that's okay. The only people that are looking at it is me and my friends here on YouTube. <laughs> so I think it's going to be all right. So I also had to do um, not really some errands for my mom, but I was going to be at her house all day on Tuesday because, you know, I hang out with my family on the holidays and we have lots of fun. And so I put down mom's house basically for a Tuesday. And then I went and I found a sticker for the weekday because I always like to mark down the weekday. Oh, I mean, the weekends. I'm just totally just getting things all wrong <laughs> as I'm doing this voiceover. I also put down lots of scallop boxes. Boxes. And in those scallop boxes, I'm going to be putting my Telemove phone call in there. And I used another stamp from that same stamp pad, basically. And I'm writing in Telemove. And I figured out if I write slowly, my handwriting looks a lot better because I do have some very slobbendy writing. So now next, I am going to be stamping a little stamp that looks like, you know, the little thing that they use when you are saying cut on a film because I wanted to denote my live stream, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I had a few days that I wanted to, to do the live stream. And Tuesday was one of them. Even though it was Independence Day, I was going to do a live stream. But what happened was, what happened was, our internet was out because of some storms that have hit us down here in Florida. And it completely knocked my modem out. And I had to wait for two days in order for it to come back up. So I'm actually doing this voiceover on Wednesday so that I can put this video up, which is going to be the same day that I post it. 
And so then I went back in and I put some no spins on here because for the month of July, as part of my one book July, I'm also doing a no spin on craft and planner products. And so far, so good. I've been tempted, but I'm not doing it. I'm not spending a penny. So the next thing that I'm writing in is I'm writing in some days that some bills are due and I also wanted to let you know that I'm probably putting a lot more into this planner than I normally do because for one book July I'm only going to be using my recollections planner for most of my planner because if you've watched a live stream where I talked about one book July then you'll know that I can't just use just the one planner because I do use some other planners for specific work, but I am going to attempt to use the recollections for most of my planning. So for Saturday, I put down a farmer's market sticker, and then I continue to fill out Sunday as well because we're going to be going to the movies on Sunday. I also want to put in my digital calendar because there's some things that are already on my digital calendar that I won't have access to. And so I always put that into my planner as well. And I really like the way this layout came out. It is very beautiful. It has everything that I need for on the go. And I'm actually kind of retrofitting it for the one book July. So you'll hear more about that during the month. So if you love videos like this, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when more videos like this one come out. So with that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease. From your sweet lotus blossom and lovable Lizzie, have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.